Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. A while back I made a video on how to create a project S-curve in Smartsheet and that was proved pretty popular and at the same time it actually developed a solution on how to track project documentation or things which are multi-stage deliverables. So I thought it was about time I did a video on this. Now this is fairly complex in terms of a solution so I'll show as much as is practical on this bit. Um, those of you who are advanced users will be able to work it out. Others, get in touch if you need to know a bit more about this solution. So let's dive in and have a look at what I mean. So here we are, multi-stage deliverables um, tracking S-curve, as I've called it. And what it's doing is it's showing what is the target for when you are planning to deliver all the various deliverables and items. And you can see week by week by week, what is due to be delivered and then finally it tops out so on the 15th of May then that is when it's 100% delivered and where are we at the moment well we can see we're actually running fairly far behind planned and you can see the devi deviation off that bit so again this is another way that you can use visual performance at a glance because if you start looking at the actual tracker you can see that it's a bit lost in terms of all the data. We can see the variance of kind of where you're falling behind on stuff, but can you really see how far you're falling behind? And again, much like various views where you can see what really, what is the relative value? Where are we um, in terms of versus delivery? Actually, that's not great on that side. So what do we do about it? And then for you take action to understand, is that more resource, more time, more cost to spend, etc. What is the issue here? Um, on that side. So how does, does this all work? So I've shown you already in a sense that you've got a sheet here. This is where you put in the various documents. So the moment it's got 17 documents listed. I've got it so set up so it can show that what the current stage is at. And then for each one, um, it goes in and you say, well, what are the various stages that you're going through? So this is set at the beginning of the plan. These columns are locked once agreed and then what the users do as we go forward is you track in the various dates in terms of when something happens and so let's just say that happened on time and so that was the um, actually happened on the 26th of March I can put that in and you can see great that happened and it's now um, at peer review on that stage so this is how in principle this works so this current view how do I then turn this into the chart so I've got a more complex sheet that sits behind this. And ultimately this sheet, what it's doing is a couple of things which are pretty important. One, it's looking at the number of documents in the sheet and it's calculating what's the relative weighting or value of each document to the overall delivery of the project. And so that helps you ultimately create this curve. The pieces though, for each, each one, actually what is the relative value of each stage? So for the first stage, so when it's initiated, then that is worth 20%. When the document is at peer review, then it's 50%, issued to the client 70%, client comments 90, and then published. So again, this gives you a kind of relative value, or a value as it could be, um, through the various stages of each item on here. So one, the weighting is really important, and what I've done here is I've got some calculations. So if I was to choose to say, well, actually, when it gets to this stage, it's only 40% complete, then these items down here change in relative terms. So I could then you know, change this to be 60% and then it's still 90% on that bit. And you might have seen, let me just turn on track changes. So track changes, this is our last view of the sheet. You can see these are the changes I've just been making um, here on that side. So I'm just gonna turn off the track changes and undo those pieces here. Oops, he says I saved instead of undo, but um, let me just do that bit. So that was 50% and that was 70%. And again, so if you just watch down here, you'll see that 10% changes um, to move it up on the overall piece here. So it works out based on if each document is worth 5.9% um, because there's 17 documents. So that calculation is one of the total number of documents um, on that side. That's how it works out, the, the overall piece. So each document is worth that. The other critical piece on here is the columns are text because if these were date columns, they're not gonna work at all. So if I turn this to a date, uh, you'll see it goes, well, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a date. Again, I've got numbers in and that's not a date. So if I undo that bit. So what you have to do is ha make these as text columns in order for the date to appear. 
what you do is you put in the date from elsewhere. You can see I've got it to a side here. So I've got these columns with the dates and I've put in plus and then two semicolon, um, two apostrophes um, afterwards to show you um, to turn it into a text value. This date here, you can either enter it manually in here and I get what I could do is color that green as a reminder of that's the one where you start off with the first date of your plan. And again, the idea is it is the, um, this is a week commencing date. Oops. Um, this is a week commencing date. Um, if I just put in that, so the week commencing date, equally you can use the sheet summary on the side and then you can fill out the dates here and I can change that to be whatever date, you know, so I could change that to the 20th on that side and you can see the whole thing has changed accordingly based on that start date. So let me just move it back to the 27th and close this sheet summary. So that's just saved there. What else is happening in this document? Well, there's a lot of calculations going on in here. So what you can see is I've got the section here to say, well, what was planned? So what it's doing is this number here is coming from and it's is looking at this date and saying, week commencing the 27th of May, how many documents were due to be done? So that means anything with a date less than the 6th of March was due that week. So let's just look back at the tracker and we can say, so 27, these top four items were all due before the 6th of March, so the count is four. And there's also saying, well, how many were actually done? And it's again, that count is the same, it's coming through as four there. So let's just look back at the tracker. Four were due and four were done. If we go back in here and actually change these dates to say, well, actually that was done, let's just say on the um, 8th of March, for example, and this was also done on the 9th of March, let's just say, so you can see these are late. And if I save this, the overall tracker will update momentarily as well to say that, that the actuals wasn't four, that was actually two here. And if I refresh that, save, you'll see that number has just gone down to two. What happens as, as a result is the percentage. So it's saying, well, 5% were due to be completed then, but there's only two have happened, then it's 2%. And again, you have to bear in mind there's a, there's a rounding error, um, or not a rounding error, it's a decimal point piece, which is kind of round up, round down um, on this piece. So ultimately it's saying it was due to be that, but it is actually this 2%. And so you do have to do this for each stage of it because they've got different weightings. As it goes through, you could say, well, what is the value of what's been delivered at each stage? And so how many documents were due to have been initiated then? And it's just refreshing because I, made, I fiddled with the dates a moment ago. Um, so, how many dates, how many documents were due to be initiated then? And so if you go through, so this is the various calculations here. How's it working it out? So it's saying count if the date is less than the 6th of March. And it's looking at this sheet here, and this reference ultimately is going to the sheet here and it's counting this column and saying, count how many have got the date which is less than the 6th of March, one, two, three, four, um, on that bit. So if I go back to this one, this column here is doing exactly the same, but it's, it's looking at the following date. Count that same column, the start date of the plan, and etc. So it goes across this piece, and you can see all of these have got a start date, so they will all fall in somewhere into that plan of delivery. So that's kind of that piece, and what you need to then do is do that for each of the various stages. How many documents would you to have then peer-reviewed, issued, etc etc until finalizing finalizing and you'd hope with your plan if you've got 17 documents that by the end all 17 are there now if we turn this into a percentage size this is why we have this little percentage number here because this enables you to work out what is the percentage value of delivery at each stage so it's saying that five percent so and this column this row down here is doing cumulative value to say okay in this week what value has been delivered that percent, that percent has been delivered, and then it's doing a cumulative value on that bit as it goes through. So eventually it hits 100. So as it goes through, then this is what the plan is. So the plan should always top out at 100. The percentage of plan, um, sorry, there's a number of documents. The percentage of plan in terms of actual on this case. So what this is doing here is again, it's looking at this piece and for the percentage, so the same for the one above, 
it's just saying, okay, of the number of actual, it's looking at that number and it is taking that number there and it is multiplying it by the project at row. So it's taking it by that number and then it's multiplying it by the percentage overall. So that way then it works out what the total percentage is of the project that's been delivered thus far. So if each document once completed is 6%, actually when it has only 20% is completed, then it is a much smaller percentage. Now we go to the maths. Okay, so these are how the numbers happen. And then overall, you can see this is what was planned, the 5% going up to 100%. So this is, and I've replicated this line down here. And then the plan is down here. So this is what gives you the actual time plan. And very simply, if I come back to this chart here, that is what you see charted down below. So in terms of just going back to here, any other key elements which I think are um, valuable to, to, to flag up to you guys. In reality, the key ultimately is working out what is this percentage value. And in this piece, again, what I've done here, as you can see, these, if I, if I make a change up here, it just reflects down here. This sheet overall, again, this is the view. The dates fall across, come across here. What's the formula in here? Just to see, so it is that the value in that cell there being multiplied by the 20%. And again, so what's that, that value? Those two multiplied by each other, then multiplied by this percentage at the top. And that gives you what's the relative percentage that has been completed um, of documents that have been initiated. So you've got a choice. If you want to have a tracker, this is great because people can fill out the tracker. But then if you want to have visual performance of how you're doing because frankly i find it quite difficult to see really what's going on here and are you and most people's eyes will be blurred at this stage this is a simple visual performance to show you how you're doing and you're not doing very well at this stage so there's some action which is needed to remedy it as well so i think for those of you who are looking for a more granular way of tracking visually uh, performance when you've got multi-stage deliverables here's a solution um, if you've been able to follow along and you can recreate that, great, congratulations. If you need to get in touch and find out more, please do, you know where to find us. Uh, this is Rich Coles from Proactive Project Solutions and more videos to follow. Thanks for watching, bye for now.